more question. Uh, I think this is based on the fact that you realize all the all the speakers for the ETL this semester shared a shared characteristic, um, a gender characteristic, and so we had some of our uh, female entrepreneurs ask, from the, especially from a woman's perspective, what advice do you have for balancing the demands of a family life with the kind of boundary boundaryless life of an entrepreneur? Okay. So that's a great question, um, and I think um, again parsing the question. It, it assumes that uh, your life should be boundaryless, um, and I guess I disagree. Um, one is, I, I'll give you a couple of Steve heuristics, uh, but they're personal ones for me, and I'm not suggesting them for you. I will just observe how I live my life. Um, one is, if you're single and you want to do startups, stay single. Um, no, seriously, stay single for a while, because startups can be all-consuming, 24-7, um, just suck you... Uh, Dry. But if you do get married and have relationships, uh, particularly if you have kids, uh, we actually set some rules in our family that were uh, uh, quite helpful. And I think our kids appreciated it and um, um, I think made a better family. Now, we would always have dinner at 7 p.m. Uh, what I didn't realize is my wife was feeding my kids earlier. Um, and what they didn't realize is after I put them to bed, which was another big deal, um, I went back to work electronically and worked for another five hours. Um, we spent weekends with our kids, though half a day uh, on Saturday they went to work with me, but the other parts of the weekends were theirs. Um, and I have a whole list of uh, what I did to preserve my family on the um, steepblank.com site under Epitaph for an Entrepreneur, um, which uh, actually truly meant that. Um, but, but just to summarize, Thomas, um, you've got to make rules or the startups will take over your life and you're going to be uh, maybe successful but quite lonely. Um, so you can balance these things whether you're male or female.